Right, so that's us. We're here in Mulgai. Starting the West Highland Way. Well, we've got a couple of miles in our belt now, about two miles out of Mulgai, according to the, the same post we've just passed. So, yeah, this is what the tail looks like. And this is the first time I've walked along the West Highland Way in May, and it's quite pretty with all these bluebells. And that's just Lynn, my partner. She's just walking on up ahead of us. And tonight we are heading for the campsite just before you get to German. I've stayed there before, so I know where I'm heading for. Right, that's us off the, the nasty section of the road. And it brings us back on the tart now, so it's quite pleasant walking from there on. We do head on an old railway line shortly. But it's not that bad walking. And at the end of the day, we do have to walk along about a mile and a half of road again, but it's a very quiet pleasant country back road to reach the, the campsite as we head toward the German. So aye, it's quite a pleasant day, unfortunately the forecast is not good for tonight. So yeah, we'll soon get this tent pitched up before the rain comes, but going by the forecast, it could be touch and go. Got a nice view ahead of us, that's um, I believe it's Drumgoyne Hill. Over there. It's all downhill now. Right, we're now back on the the back country road that leads us to the campsite on the approach to Dermot. It's a nice little scenic cluster of houses by the river. Here. Nice little water feature down there. So yeah, I think it's only about a, maybe about a mile to the campsite from here. Unfortunately it is road walking but as you see just a pretty much a single track country lane road. So it's basically quiet. Well, we've made it to German campsite. That's our tent there, the brown tent. And we're just putting up the inner. We've got pitches out our first. Perfect for Scottish conditions. And there we go. And yeah. So at the campsite, the last time I was here was in October. And there's maybe three tents here, so it's a bit busier tonight. Well, right, folks, that's us getting ready to start. Day two of our West Helen Way walk. We're in the tent as you can see, one's packing up, and you can probably hear that, it's sounding quite windy outside. The rain's supposed to stop this morning, um, and I think it has. It was it did rain most of last night, and the weather is supposed to improve from today onwards, so yeah, looking forward to it. And hopefully the legs will cope. One step at a time. Right, we're back folks. That's us just coming off the road. We're not far from German. And now, we're not actually going into German because we don't need any food or anything. So we're just following the, the West Highland Way through, you would say. So we just come off here at this bridge. And then, if I remember rightly, it's almost like a, it's almost like a field we'll go through here. And then further on across the main road. We then pick up a path and then eventually that goes into the forest and then we head towards Connick Hill. We're now in the street path at the skirts edge of the forest on the skirts of Drummond. Um, it does eventually lead on the forest track and we walk along 
for a brief while through the forest, then we emerge on the open hillside and over Conic Hill. Well, we're now starting to get a fine view of the Loch Lomond Islands from up here. You can see all the various islands dotted across the loch there. And now, on this rather windy day, we've got to head along this track and then skirt round behind Conic Hill up there. So, I'd imagine it's going to be quite windy when we get up there, but hey ho. <coughs> it's going to be fun, I think. We just passed through a really bad rain shower earlier. But no, I've got the phone back out now since it stopped raining and here's Lynn ascending the steps at the start of the climb up Conic Hill. Let's see over here. It's actually like a cloud. Just sitting on the top there. But yeah, it's, the rain's gone off. So hopefully the walk up over here will be pleasant. That remains to be seen. Hi folks, we're up the highest point on the West Island Way where it flanks the shoulder of Coinic Hill. And as you can probably guess by my attire, it's quite miserable up here and quite windy today. So I'm not going to summit Coinic Hill, I've done it before. I'm just going to continue on and drop down to Balmaha on a day like this. Uh, there's Lynn coming along behind us. I'm just going to switch the camera and show you what it's like. You usually get a cracking view from up here on a day like this, but not today. They are quite moody and atmospheric from, I must admit. You get to see some of the islands down there. But no, that's it. That's all we're recording up here. I think we'll get the food away before we get soaked. We'll crack on down at the Balmaha and we'll get some coffees and then we'll wait for the Oak tea and do it when we'll get a nice bar lunch there hopefully. Maybe a jar to warm myself up. Why not? Just when you think you've done enough climbing for the day, as soon as you leave Balmaha, you've got this short, steep ascent up this wee hill. And then I know for a fact it goes back down the loch side again. But yeah, some nice views up here. And you look back down in the loch side over there. So that's us at the top. And now we'll head all the way back down the loch side again. That's us. Well and truly on the path. Went its way along the eastern side of Loch Lomond. So, from now on, the next day and a half, you just follow the side along. We had a windy afternoon today. I think this wind's supposed to drop there, there it's tomorrow morning. So, yeah. Hopefully, it's a better day tomorrow. But, oh, still enjoyed it. All good. It's, it's nice now to get a bit of progress and actually go to the shores of Loch Lomond. We've arrived at Salki campsite. I'm quite glad of it. I'm looking forward to taking the weight off our feet. The tent's up, as you can see. So all I've got to do now is get my firm rest and sleep in bag out and stove out and brew a cup of tea and just relax. So, yeah, nice little spot, I suppose.